So what's the difference between philosophical counseling and psychotherapy? Philosophical counseling and psychotherapy may seem similar at first glance, but they diverge significantly in a variety of aspects. First and foremost, the theoretical foundations of the two are distinct. Philosophical counseling draws upon the rich tapestry of philosophical thought, encompassing fields like ethics and metaphysics. In contrast, psychotherapy is fundamentally grounded in psychological theories and clinical models. When it comes to their objectives, philosophical counseling aims to elucidate thoughts, beliefs, and values, providing clarity and guidance in intellectual and existential matters. Psychotherapy, on the other hand, is principally concerned with the treatment of mental health issues and emotional distress. The approaches to diagnosis further delineate the two. Philosophical counseling tends to abstain from medicalizing or labeling problems as psychological disorders, whereas psychotherapy often conducts formal diagnoses based on medical or psychological criteria. Methodologically, philosophical counseling employs techniques like Socratic questioning, rational argumentation, and open dialogue. Psychotherapy, by contrast, might deploy an array of methods ranging from cognitive behavioral techniques to psychoanalysis and even medication, depending on the clinical approach. The aspect of client autonomy is another point of divergence. Philosophical counseling underscores the client's capacity for reason and autonomous decision-making, while psychotherapy might assume a more directive stance, particularly depending on the therapeutic model employed. Scope is another area of difference. Philosophical counseling often grapples with expansive life questions and ethical quandaries. Psychotherapy is usually more narrowly tailored, focusing on alleviating emotional suffering and improving mental health. The structure and duration of the counseling or therapy sessions also vary. Philosophical counseling can be rather flexible, adapting to the needs and questions of the client. Psychotherapy, particularly when treating specific disorders, often adheres to a more structured timeline. In terms of interdisciplinary applications, philosophical counseling is often perceived as a complement to other therapeutic practices. Psychotherapy, although diverse in its methods, is generally more insular and may or may not integrate philosophical considerations. One of the most crucial distinctions lies in the treatment of issues. Philosophical counseling adopts a non-pathologizing stance, viewing problems as intellectual or existential challenges rather than illnesses. In contrast, psychotherapy typically categorizes issues based on psychological pathologies that require treatment. Ethically speaking, philosophical counseling places a substantial emphasis on ethical deliberation and moral reasoning. Ethics in psychotherapy, although important, is usually not the central focus. In the realm of academic influences, philosophical counseling often integrates seminal philosophical texts and scholarly literature into its dialogue. Psychotherapy, in comparison, mainly draws from clinical research and psychological studies. Lastly, philosophical counseling tends to adopt a more holistic view, examining the client's life situation in its totality. Psychotherapy, however, often zeroes in on specialized issues, such as anxiety disorders, depression, or trauma. In summary, while both philosophical counseling and psychotherapy offer valuable perspectives for individuals seeking help, they differ substantially in their approach, focus, and methods.